Hello everyone and welcome back to Switzerland. Today I'm standing next to the Randa Suspension Bridge in their Matter Valley and from here you have a fantastic view of the Swiss Alps. These mountains were formed when two continents on two separate tectonic plates collided. And as they collided the rocks were squeezed together and pushed into these high mountains. So the collision of continents produces enormous mountains. But as soon as mountains are formed, there are also many forces that break them down again. For example, on Earth's surface, weather conditions such as wind, rain and frost can break down the rocks in smaller pieces. These smaller pieces of rocks can then be easily picked up and transported downhill by glaciers and rivers. But sometimes the rocks in the mountains come down in a more violent and dangerous way. Occasionally, huge parts of the mountain break off and slide and fall down the mountain. And we call these events rock slides or rock falls. And what you can see from this bridge is a rock slide that happened in 1991. The Renda rock slide. And you can clearly see the pile of debris at the base of the mountain and a huge scarp in the valley wall where the rock slab broke off. But what exactly causes these enormous slabs of rock to slide or fall down the mountain? And why are they so common in the Alps? That is what we're gonna find out in this video. Are you ready to explore? The controlling force that is driving rock slides is of course gravity. We all know what happens when something is slipping out of our hands. Yes, it will fall down. And the exact same thing happens when a piece of rock breaks off the mountain, it will also fall or slide down the mountain. An important factor that influences the generation of rock slides is the steepness of the mountain slopes. You can imagine that the steeper the slope, the easier it is for something to fall or slide off the mountain. And as you can see here in the valley where Randa is located, the slopes of the cliffs are very steep. Now why is that? That is because this area used to be glaciated. The vast majority of the steep cliffs in this valley were formed by huge glaciers that flowed downhill during the past ice ages. And as the glaciers receded at the end of the last ice age, they left behind deep valleys that they carved. And these deep valleys with these steep valley cliffs are prime spots for rock slides and rock falls. But before rocks slide down from a steep valley cliff, something must have weakened the rock so they can break off. And here in the Alps, there is a lot of rocks that are weakened. As the rocks were pushed into mountain belts, the rock layers got deformed. That means the rocks got tilted, folded, fractured and folded. So a lot of the rocks here in the Alps have a lot of cracks, fractures and folds in them. As you can see in the example behind me. When these fractured rocks are exposed on Earth's surface, it is very easy for rain, snow and glacial meltwater to infiltrate into these cracks. When at night or during the winters the temperatures drop below zero degrees Celsius, the water in the cracks freezes. And when the water turns into ice, it expands. And over time the ice accumulations in the cracks grow larger and larger, pushing against the rocks and forcing the cracks to open even more and breaking and weakening the rocks around them. So areas where we find steep cliffs in combination with already weakened and fractured rock, that are prime spots for huge rock slides like this. But most rock slides are still triggered by an external cause. What do you think can trigger big rock slides as the one you can see behind me? So a lot of rock slides here in the Alps are triggered by intense rainfall, heavy snow melt, or earthquakes. The rock slide here in Randa was most likely triggered by an episode of extreme snow melt in the spring of 1991. This extreme amount of melt water then infiltrated in all the cracks, increasing the pressure and further destabilizing the already weakened rocks, 
This caused the entire slab of rock to slide down into the valley, causing significant damage on the train line and the road. Another very famous rock slide in Switzerland is the rock slide that formed this lake in the Bernese Overland. And this lake is called the Ushinensee. Behind me you can see an enormous scarp where a slab of rock slid down the mountain approximately two and a half thousand years ago. The rock slide deposits at the foot of the hill then block this entire valley, after which all the meltwater collected in the lake behind the rock slide deposits. And that is why this beautiful lake formed here in the mountains. Researchers believe that the rock slide was likely triggered by an earthquake. A similarity with the Matter Valley is that also this area was glaciated. And also during the past ice ages, glaciers have formed deep valleys and very steep cliffs that are so prone for landslides. However, you probably noticed that the rock slide scarp look very, very different. Why is that? That is because the rocks in this area are slightly different. The rocks over here originally formed as horizontal layers on the ocean floor 150 to 140 million years ago. But during the formation of the Alps, these horizontal rock layers were pushed up, folded, twisted and tilted. And now the rock layers are positioned at very steep angles, as you can see over here. And these rock layers are easy to break off and slip down. Because in between the rock layers we have points of weakness. So when there is a trigger, for example an earthquake, a big slab can easily break off and slide down the mountain. I want to end this video with a final question. Do you think that in the near future we can expect more or less rock slides and rock falls here in the Alps? Keeping in mind that the Earth is currently experiencing a phase of extreme global warming, I hope you enjoyed learning about rock slides here in the Alps and that you now understand the importance of these dangerous events. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next adventure. If you want to learn more about geology in the meantime, please check out my website. Goodbye!